Seem like no one's sitting down, so uh, you know they're cheering on third downs. Uh, you know when the defense is out there, and uh, you know they're they're supporting us. You know very uh, you know a lot of, lot of admiration for the for this fan base. This offense seemed to be clicking early in the game, more in the first half than the second half. What was kind of the difference in those first two frames? I guess they, they caught on to some things that we were doing and we couldn't execute like we wanted to. Uh, but we came out victorious. Uh, you know, it's a good defense, good defensive players over there. But first half, obviously, we, we knew we could take advantage of some things and we did. Uh, and hopefully we can kind of come out and play a complete game uh, next week. What was something you, you saw in the wide receiver group specifically kind of take advantage of in that first half? Uh, the open space, a lot of zone, uh, guys just being there making making contested catches. Nick made some tough catches. It was on the ground. Uh, you know, Chris as well. Uh, you know, tight ends made some catches. So he's just, you know, taking advantage of the open holes that they gave us. A lot of veterans. Uh, you know, us us just wanting to, wanting to score. You know, Derek getting that extra push. Uh, the offensive line, you know, knowing, knowing that Derek's getting the ball in. Just blocking uh, one second longer, and uh, you know, we, I thank Derek for doing what he did today. A lot of veteran leaders stuck up, stuck up today and made some plays yourself, like Nico and Jeff on the offense. Derek, you mentioned, I mean, on defense, Derek on offense. What does that say about this team to see the veteran leaders you know, step up and get away when you guys needed it? Uh, you know, a lot of guys play a lot of ball on this team, different teams, uh, but you know, we're all here right now, and uh, we know when that number is called, that's what we want to do. We want to be accountable. Uh, the receivers out there blocking, you know, we're, we're not just out there, you know, catching uh, touchdowns. You know, we're out there making big blocks as well. And to us, that's, uh, you know, that's, that leads to touchdowns and helps the team win. So, uh, you know, you got a lot of unselfish veterans on this team. Uh, and, and hopefully we can continue putting together wins. Four and seven, obviously you guys got a bit of a hill to climb. But, you know, you take it one game at a time, obviously you got to get a home divisional game next week. What's got to be the mindset for you guys heading into uh uh, same mindset that we've had every home game, you know, uh, and that's win. Uh, right now, you know, we got a good streak at home, and hopefully we can continue it. You mentioned Derek. He had another milestone today. It was kind of keep racking up for him. I know it's only your first season with him, but how do you kind of describe the impact he has on this team, specifically the offense, whether he has a, a big output on the game, a lot of numbers, or just slow and steady? Uh, we go as Derek go. Uh, I think that's, uh, you know, something everyone knows about this team. Uh, you know, so today obviously he had a you know good day to him. You know he's tough on himself. You know he feel like uh, you know he could have did some things better, but that's what you gotta respect about him. Two touchdowns and he's still not happy. Uh, you know, but that's Derek. Uh, but we go as Derek go, and everybody knows that. Good start for Will Levis. He seems starting to settle in even more than maybe his first couple games. Oh yeah, absolutely. There are some some throws out there that he made that uh, you know you don't expect a rookie to make, and there are some throws out there that uh, you know I hold him to a high regard that, that he got to make next game. And uh, I'm going to continue being, uh, you know, his, his toughest critic. On both sides of the ball, I mean, how big was that to help you guys get a win that you needed today? That's what it was about, man. Um, we talked about it all week. Um, saw it on all, all three phases. And, you know, what I took from it is, you know, offense, eliminate bad football because there's a lot of good things in it. Special team, go set the tone. Um, you know, because that's where it started. Um, and then defense affect the football and um, I think we did a hell of a job of that. That's a great win. Um, one that we really needed because um, the energy, um, social media, all that, everything just been down, man. Like, it just, it's, it feels good to get a win and being able to do it at home and back at home next week um, with another division game. It's going to be big that we start stacking wins and that's what it's going to take, um, especially if we want to still, you know, have a shot at the division. Obviously, That's 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 the that's the message. Um, affect the ball to help the offense out. Um, some, cause sometimes you know that's what we need. That spark, you know, and and that's what we expect. We expect to get turnovers. We need to do more to um, try to get more turnovers. So at the end of the day, man, turnovers win games, and we, we know that. Whoever have the more turn, most turnover, you have a better chance of winning. So each game, um, like I said, that was the main key for the defense this week. Uh, work together to affect the football and. We did a hell of a job with that. I know it's cool every week to get after the quarterback, but does it go up even more when you're facing a rookie quarterback? Uh, most definitely. Um, you know, especially when you got a guy like that and, you know, he, he want to get the ball out or, or look for a best receiver and you take that read away. It's a hell of a job on the back end today. And, you know, and you got to, when you watch film and you know you had a, have an advantage against the guys up front, you know, even with the guys that go down with them that had a lot of injuries. But um, I think when, when, when we talk about our front, you know, we have 
a lot of guys who can rush the passer, and it's it's time for us to just uh, show that. And um, you know, it's, of course, like some games, quarterback get the ball out quick, and we talk about different ways to affect the quarterback. So, um, you know, we, we just got to get back to that. We're gonna we're gonna get back to that being more dominant up front. I'll be on the same page, and like I said, it's today's show that you know if we're on the same page, we're working together, we could be good, uh, uh, a great uh, front four. Jeff, how much of a relief to get the kind of turnover you guys have been talking about to put the offense right out the door stuff? It was a relief, man. I mean, I, when, you, when you talk about the game of football and you, you talk about what's winning in this league, um, being able to run the ball and stop the run, um, quarterback pass rating, um, I, I think I'm sure all quarterback pass rating were better, and then the turnover margin. We have to be able to protect the football and create turnovers, and I think that's. That's what we did today. Um, I don't think they we didn't turn over the ball today, and they did. So at the end of the day, we got to we got to keep creating them turnovers to help our offense out. You know, like I said, it's a spark. Um, it's energy. It's momentum. So we just got to keep doing that. Up today, like guys like Jeff and Nico defensively. Obviously, Derek had a, a pretty solid game offensively. What, yeah, what's what does that say to see these veteran leaders step up and help you guys get it when you needed it? It's awesome to see. I mean, our defense. What a hell of a game they put up. I mean. They did an amazing job. They got after them um, several ways, and I mean, they had a hell of a game. They kept us in that at the second half when you know things started going the wrong way. They were the ones that kept us up. So um, credit to them. They 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 deserve this win. It was amazing by them. And then Derek. I mean, it's fun to see him get going, and we just got to find ways to get him going. Um, get back to like you know that under center and just let him roll. And like when we do that, you you can see him go. And we we got to just do better. Um, making sure that we you know get him into those like those longer strides. So then once he gets that full head of steam, you know there's nothing stopping him. Four and seven, obviously you guys got still more work to do, but you get a divisional game here next week. I mean, what's going to be the mindset heading into this week? Um, mindset is, I mean, we just got to you know get into this next uh, week and, and dive into it. I mean, at the end of the day, we got to get a back-to-back -back win um, and we got to get something rolling. So uh, to get back in this fight, and it, it starts this week. Better in the red zone today, two for two in the red zone. What was um, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. I think mean, it's just we got we were efficient. We we stayed ahead of the chains, um, and you know we just got got in got in the end zone. I think that's the the main goal. I think um, prior to that we were you know we'd slow down, we'd miss a play, we're getting to longer down distances. Now they got to just defend the end line. It's a lot easier defense for them, um, especially if you get behind the chains. But if you stay ahead of the chains, we get into those you know what what was it first, second, and short. You know they got to defend the pass and the run. So now you know they're on their heels. So that gives us an advantage, and so I think we just got to keep doing that. You know, how, these, how the veteran leaders came up and, and you know, pushed you guys this win today? Uh, that just must be uh, assumed outside because you know getting through getting through a season like this with uh, some of the losses we've taken, and then to come back and win and stuff like that, and uh, stay composed uh, in the locker room throughout the weeks of practice and stuff. That takes leadership. So the, the leadership hasn't wavered and it's been there for the past couple weeks. Um, you know we went at home. That's what we do. So that was already, you know, planned by us, but just go out there and do what we do every week. It's a new opportunity and you can't let the ones that already happened affect it. Four and seven obviously got, got more hill to climb, but you get a divisional game at home next week. I mean, what's gonna be the mindset heading into this week? Win. It's all it's what it always is, it's what it's about, and that's what it's gonna always be about until I finish my career and this game keeps going on. It's all about is winning, that's all people care about. The coaches, the fans, the owners, the players, win. Um, you know, that's our goal every time we go out there is uh, to, to make them punt, turn over, get a turnover, something like that, and uh, put our offense in the best position we can to get points. And, um, you know, they're not going to go down there and score every time. It's just how the game goes. Other players get paid. And um, whenever we punt, it's just an opportunity for us to to do our job, stop them from scoring and get the ball to the offense again. You know, I think that's just kind of how we look at it. What does a defensive performance like this do for the defense, for you guys as a unit, just talking all week about affecting the quarterback and really getting back there today? Um, I think it just rights the ship a little bit for us uh, personally, but uh, sometimes in some of these games are a little tougher where we lose and stuff like that. Um, maybe some good plays were overshadowed, so the wins and, and the performance like that allow the defense to be highlighted and the guys to make plays.